Okay, so for this video, we're looking at some UAV imagery, um, in particular multispectral data, and how to process it within ArcGIS Pro. So if you go ahead and find your image that you want to upload, usually it's a TIFF file, which means it's geo reference, so it should just show up on your map. Um, and there it is right there. And so before we do anything, we need to go ahead and make a field boundary boundary around this. So just your typical things you've already done in the past. So I won't take my time on this, I'll quickly do it. You want to take a little more time um, to go around this field boundary, but for this video, I'm just going to quickly draw this. Alright, so that'll be good enough for the day. Go ahead and save that. And you go ahead and clear it off, and push escape to get rid of your little drawing tool. Alright. So now if we look over here where our drone imagery came in, we can say there, see there's a red band, a green band, and a blue band. And that's not actually what's being displayed in some cases. For this image, this may be right, but I am actually know for a fact it's wrong because I know band number 3 is actually red and it's actually switched around here. But um, if you want to find out, this is a Micasense sensor. If, um, a five band sensor has red, green, blue, and then near infrared and red edge. So, and you can look this up on internet um, to figure out what bands are which. And the bands we'll be using today are three, four, and five. And three is the red, four is the red edge, and five is the near infrared. So, if you're wanting to go ahead and create some some different indices, you're going to come up to you're going to highlight your, your field and you come up to imagery. And normally, if this was a satellite image, we'd have to go ahead and composite our bands. But since this is a drone image, they're already all put together. And actually, before we do that, so you're going to use this tab right here. Yours may look a little bit different because this is Arc 2.3. Um, but you should have Arc 2.2 and NDVI should be right here. And it should look a little bit different, but that's besides the point. Before we get going, I forgot. So you'll get a symbology. So you can see right now it's showing RGB. If you go ahead and click the down arrow here, you can see that there's five bands in here. And it's only displaying three. You can't display all five at one time. So really, you can just kind of ignore um, what it's telling you right here and just know which bands are which and you can google like micasense and and find out what bands are which but for this we're going to make a ndvi map so we can go ahead and click on ndvi and our near infrared band for a micasense sensor is band number five and then our red is band number three so we can go ahead and push ok now i'll go ahead and make our map and then if we want to make it look a little better we can go ahead and clip it And since this is raster data, we will be using the clip raster data management tool. And I think on yours it's just going to say clip and then in parentheses it will say um, data management. Mine happens to say raster. So looks like we'll input our NDVI. Output will be our field boundary. And we're going to clip it to the field boundary. That's what that means right there. And go ahead and run that. And hopefully it'll go here. There we go. All right. So it looks like we have some pretty crazy NDVI values within this picture. And go ahead and unhighlight this one. 
and we'll get rid of the color picture behind. So we're just messing with our NDVI map. But you can tell it goes from almost 1 all the way almost to negative 1. But we can tell it's right because if we flip back and forth between our color image, you can see this is relatively a green spot of the field. And these bands aren't quite lined up. You'd probably want to switch them around, get them in the right channels. But in general, I can see that these bands are representing what is being shown. So the white areas are the higher end DVIs. And we'll go ahead and switch that around so we can see what we're looking at. I just choose classify because um, I like to know what these values actually mean. It's a little more, you gain a little more knowledge from it rather than having one and then, or the high and the low, and you have to guess what's in between. And there we go. So there is our NDVI for the field. And so let's say we wanted to make a red NDVI map. Now the red NDVI equation, the NDRE equation is exactly the same as NDVI, only re you are using the red edge band instead of the red. So for sake of time, we'll quickly name this just NDVI so we know what we're looking at here. Okay, and we will go ahead and make a red NDVI. So remember, you're going to have to go back to your image and highlight it, the original one. Go to indices. Mine has a red edge NDVI, and if you click on it, it's just going to tell you um, to input your red edge band down here. Now, you're probably not going to have this, so go ahead and click on NDVI. And our near infrared band is 5. And for a red band, I, I told you we're going to replace it with a red edge. And so there we go. Let me put in our band number four. We go ahead and run that. And now we got a whole different map. You can go ahead and clip this to your field boundary and everything else. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, this is a little bit, this is for next week kind of what we'll be doing. Not exactly. We'll just be processing drone imagery. But this will kind of help you out with um, that process because you'll know how to how to do everything as far as processing the drone image. So with that, I hope you guys have a great day and we will catch you later on.